Reconnect with the past. Relive history. Using Abstergo's incredible research into genetic memory, Animus gives you the chance to game within the past. The product you have purchased allows you to access the memories of Aveline de Grandpré, an 18th century assassin caught between two worlds, fighting to find her true purpose. Make history yours. History is our playground. Animus. Strong, healthy too. I told you to keep your place, Congo. As I was saying, Monsieur, this one is strong as an ox. It's in good health and all, not counting the missing dolls. Mama? Thank you. 
You were shouting again. Was it the nightmare? We oui. only a dream. I'm sorry to have woken you. Shh, ma chérie. Shh. Never apologize. A mother worries, even a stepmother. Thank you, Madeleine. Maman. Do you worry too? Did you forget me? Or are you gone? In any case, the night has better uses than sleep. We have uncovered news of a plantation from which slaves are vanishing. The owners reported their escape, but our network can find no trace of them. If you don't your slave guys, perhaps you can investigate this mystery from within. A dressing chamber has been prepared for you in a strategic location. From the top of the cathedral, you will see it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
A delivery will arrive at the plantation. A perfect cover. Hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen. Hmm. a whipping. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? We have plenty of trouble here already. Don't need no more. I'm Aveline, a friend. Slaves have been reported escaped, but none has yet reached any safe house. My contacts fear the worst. If you're a spy, Aveline, you won't find no cause for persecution here. My brothers have vanished, then my aunt. Today, my youngest sister, Therese. They ain't escaped, as you say. They're taken. Besides, Therese would never survive on her own. I'll find her. If any have trodden through these fields, they must have left tracks. Don't be afraid, Therese. I'm a friend. Who did this? Your master? No. This son. Oh, please help! Be strong. I'll get you to safety. You'll pay for this. Guards! Hurry! We've got rats in the barn! <laughs> Nightmares! I can't take no more! <laughs> <laughs> 
His terror is over, Therese. Stay with me. We must hurry. <gasps> Avelyn, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn. Where have you been? After the nightmare, I went to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then do your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would... In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. Uh, what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman. A slave. Badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch her new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. Aveline, late to lunch and looking ashen again. I fear you are not resting enough. Oh, Papa, I'll take my rest when this life is exhausted. You will hasten that end at this rate. I do fear you are more like your father than his feet for a lady. A chip of the same block. In passing, Monsieur Blanc requests your assistance at the warehouse. I dare say he has work to offer. Is that all he has to offer? I should think for all his attention, he would request your hand. All the same, it's the work that interests me. Philip. Oh, dear me. Oh, by the turn of this conversation, it would appear I have lingered too long at this table. If you'll excuse me. Good day, Papa. There, he is gone. I can tell you now, Aveline. I have taken care of everything. Your friend will be safe. If you have any more... Womanly problems, do not hesitate to see me.
second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your... Uh, the frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I... I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. I, I will go talk to Monsieur de Saint-Maxon at once. Most grateful, Monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. Enchanté de vous revoir. passer pour une dame. My boy, the cargo is stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had that gun to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain. If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. Eh bien, quelle jolie robe avons-nous là? We'll drink well with this. Are you the captain of this ship? Si! Capitan Carlos Dominguez, at your service. May... May we speak in private, Capitan? Who am I to refuse such a comely creature? Come. Would you be so kind as to tell me what happened with Monsieur de saint maxence shipment? <laughs> Why would you want to know? <laughs> bah! Don't you worry, my little Arthur. The cargo found its way to the intended recipient. Let me pour you a cup. I dare you to tell me this isn't the best Madeira wine that ever graced your heavenly lips. If... if you insist, Capitan. I do. You will not find a better vintage in all of the New World. I'm intrigued. Truly. They hid the goods in two warehouses.
a dance? Regardez là. I my, my. I would be like... Bonjour, très cher. Are you sure that is... <clears throat> My eyes must deceive me. Don't make me think it twice.
What a pretty dress you've got there. Salutations. I am terribly grateful for your assistance, Mademoiselle de Grandpré. But how did you ever... <laughs> Never mind. Just please, tell your father to expect a considerable discount for his trouble. Put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks a road to Saint Nicolas. Or perhaps a guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I am sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. I will leave you both to your private business. Aveline. The documents you found aboard the Rat Captain's ship. I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command. Monsieur Blanc.
Remember, we need these goods delivered to the south entrance just after sunset. Here, this will grant you access to the kitchen. Hey you! Hey you! You there! What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! You there! You there! You there! You there!
With the Spanish under our spell, the company man will at last have the power to fulfill our true purpose. And if you provide us the labor, we'll ensure the errors of Santo Domingo are not repeated here. I will do all I can to smooth the handover of the colony, and your mission will have all the workers it needs, provided you make good on your promise. Labor is in tight supply as it is, and I must remain in power as governor. Were our arrangement ever detected? My, my, governor. I fear the air of conspiracy has gone to your head. We'll make good on our promise, so long as your end of the bargain is kept. Everything is under control. You can count on me. Bueno. Then I shall away to indulge in your delightful soiree. Tonight, I drink to the death of the Brotherhood. Sacrifice the good of the colony to attempt our conspiracy, Gouverneur. I should ask you why. The Order is the future. The, the Templars will keep our colony French. The Templars will keep the colony Templar. Uh, why does the Ferrer want workers? Uh, uh, Tell me his plans and redeem yourself. I know nothing of his plans. I was to send him slaves. And vagrants, the ones most likely to rise up against... Against those who would oppose oppression and claim the life that is owed them. Uh, uh, uh. Rest in peace, Gouverneur. Le Gouverneur est mort! Aux armes! Aux armes Oh, 
regardez où vous allez Quelle tenue Elle devrait avoir honte. My student, the hornet's nest grows. I retreat to safety, the better to observe and strike. I require your assistance. Use your gifts to follow my trail. May the lower guide you swiftly.
Agate, you wrote of the enemy? Yes. Deep in the bayou, a dangerous imposter spreads real roots. He calls himself Francois Macandal, my own mentor, the leader, the priest, the brother, to whose cause I devoted my life. He was put to death by fire. I failed to prevent it. Who is this imposter, and what are his affiliations? This you will need to uncover. But first, preparations. Francois Macandal was an expert in poisons. This blowpipe was his. A fine weapon. A single dart blown from a distance will fell a man. You may use this to your advantage, if you approach in stealth. The false Macandal gathers followers. They attempt to overtake smuggling operations on the bayou. To finance what, I cannot say. There is a smuggler, a woman named Elise Lafleur. She knows every bog and tangle of the swamp. Perhaps she could be persuaded to help. I'm sure I can motivate her. Good. When you get to Macandal, use your darts to approach, but remember, you will need to complete your mission using more direct means.
We offer two choices. You give up the river? Or we take the river. Or you suffer before you die. Three choices, then. You dare threaten me? You bracket-faced parasite, I'm no more claim here than the dung beetles. You'd best heed the lady. We have you outnumbered. Look around, old man. Your hired hands will flee at the first sign of trouble. Aye, but the lady's temper alone could take on an army, and the swamp is no friend of yours. <sighs> display of gratitude I'm no enemy if that's what you fear I fear nothing my name is Aveline I seek the leader of these men he calls himself Francois Macandal you seek him to what end a final one <laughs> ah then you are my kind of woman name's Roussillon my uh, partner in crime is Elise though uh, I've heard her called otherwise Will you help me find their base? No one knows these waters as you do. In return, I'll restore your control of this territory. I've built... We've invested years of work in this camp. Why would we need your help? Four reasons, right there. Would you not prefer to move your wares freely? If you think there's only one base, you really do need me. Those louts are spread out thin as swamp gas. It's settled then. Elise will help you find the blighters.
Did you bring a canoe? Or do you expect your gentle breeding to keep you from the alligators? Best take one of mine, then. And learn to use it right quick. Smugglers. Such an ugly word. Even slavers are called merchants. Why can my title be... Queen of the Bog? Protector of Innocence. Paddling Instructor. And Champion of Trade. Too long to fit on a wanted poster. Tell me, when did your troubles with Macanda's men begin? About the same time the Spanish governor arrived. Just a big old coincidence, I'm sure. This is as far as the water will take us. They set up their base around a wrecked ship that ran aground not far from here. The other base is a little further along. There. I'll check out this base. You scout ahead. Oui, oui, mon capitaine! Glad I didn't put money on that fight. <laughs> Would have lost. And barely a scratch on you. Now here's a pretty prize. An alligator egg. Take it. You've earned it. Aveline! A woman among reptiles. Takes one to no one. Oui, that it does. Right then. If you don't run the bastard through right here, I'll meet you at the next base. My faithful acolyte, the day of the sacred ceremony draws near. I am in want of nothing but more men to join our ranks. Gather the faithful and await my word.
Still in one piece, I see. What did you find? A letter from the coward Macandal. He's preparing a ceremony. Voodoo? Yes, but to what end? Power? What other end is there? Show him you've got the spirits at your back. Especially the mean ones. And people do most anything you say. There's your real magic. It's that way, well hidden in the trees. Wait, I recognize those men. They're escaped slaves, hired from Saint Danger. The Shanty Town? Oui, though it barely deserves the name. A cramped, miserable place. The men I saw at your camp, they were from Saint Danger? Oui, <laughs> Roussillon wasn't too happy when I hired them, but he got used to the idea. Please, you can't hurt them. It goes without saying. Best of luck, then. Go. I'll be at the office if you need me. Preparations are complete. Our ceremony will take place on the eve of St. John. Assemble my followers. Balls of steel. Et puis? Where is Elise? My company doesn't satisfy you? Oh, I am hurt. <sighs> Pray, tell me what you found. I'm as good a confidant as the uh, lady, I swear. It's not a confidant I need, but an informant. Macandal is holding a ceremony on St. John's Eve tonight, but I don't know where. I know who can help, and you can help me in return. Uh, there's a... Uh, who, a, how, uh, a witch doctor in Saint-Danger. The eyes and ears of the bayou. I sent Elise to him with supplies, but she forgot this. <laughs> so hard to find honest criminal help these days. <laughs> Give him this. With his trust, the secrets of the bayou will be yours. Thank you. By the by, come back when you are done. I have a job or two that could use a woman of your caliber. And some work as well. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> 